Well, you might call it healthcare take two. Today, Republicans unveiled their plan to replace Obamacare. Some of the broad strokes here under the plan, no one is required to buy insurance, but there is a steep 30% penalty if you don't. Would also allow people to buy insurance from other states. Eventually, that's not part of the initial plan yet, but that's coming, we're told, to promote competition. Tracy Potts in Washington with more on what it means for you and your wallet. Devin, good afternoon. This plan isn't getting the warmest reception here on Capitol Hill. Democrats don't like it. Conservatives don't like it. Middle of the road Republicans have a problem with it. And we still don't know how much it costs. Facts are we've arrived at the scene of a pretty big wreck and we're trying to clean up the mess. Eager to replace Obamacare, Republicans introduced their own plan. Democrats are already calling it you, Trump Mayor. Care. Well, Trump Care is here and you are going to hate it. Here's how it works. No one is required to buy insurance, but there's a 30% surcharge if you don't. Government subsidies, they're out. Replaced with tax credits based on age, not income. Patients could buy insurance from other states to promote competition. This is not about money. This is not about uh, something else. This is about patients. And a big change, states would control Medicaid. But in three years, Washington stopped sending money to expand it. Everybody who's on Medicaid today, we, we don't kick anybody off. We do not pull the rug out. And the big question, what will it cost? Allowing states to have more control over their Medicaid money drive tremendous long-term savings. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office hasn't come up with a number yet. Democrats fear the poor will suffer. Trump care cuts taxes on the very wealthy while forcing average Americans to pay more. Among the opposition, conservative Republicans, they call it Obamacare light, a political plan that signals retreat, a step in the wrong direction. President Trump tweets, it's up for review and negotiation, hoping his signature campaign promise won't flatline. Now, the cuts to Planned Parenthood in this Republican health plan have some in their own party concerned. Moderate Republicans worried that women, many of them, may not have access to health care. In Washington, I'm Tracy Potts, Local 4.